WHDD presents Susan Says. I don't know about you guys, but lots of us get up every morning now feeling sick, wondering what new hell deranged Donnie, hashtag 45-ish, never my president is putting us through. What tweets of madness, what hysterical protestations and accusations and juvenile petty name-calling will we be inundated today? Well, I woke up feeling hopeful, some new feelings, because Joe Biden announced he's finally running for president. He did it in such a calm, clear way. He said tough things, but in a decent manner. His very presence is an antidote to the raving insults from the White House. He made a clear statement about Charleston being the turning point in America. He made it clear he will not be afraid to call out the ugliness, the corruption, But as the Morning Joe people said, his basic decency called us to our better angels. It was comforting. My ticket, if you care, is Biden-Harris. She will bring youth, vitality, obviously the demographics of the black community and women. It's a combo that will be a palate cleanser after these awful, ugly years. Elizabeth Warren needs to be in the cabinet. She has great ideas. I like her directness. Jay Inslee obviously has to be Secretary of the Interior. And oh, the New York Post must think all Dems look alike. They wrote the wrong identifying caption on Eric Swalwell, mixing him up with another guy. Oh, well. As to impeachment, I am of two minds. I really thought it was necessary to stop the corruption, make sure they're called to account. And if we didn't do it, it would allow a real dictator open sesame next time. But I see Hillary wrote an op-ed saying the Watergate model is better. It gets the truth out. So I don't know. Lawrence Tribe, the brilliant legal scholar, has moved towards impeachment, saying the founders felt it was necessary for things just like this. But Nancy Pelosi's pretty smart, is more political. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Now that the White House is not going to answer the subpoenas, well, it's a slog. But this shows they're afraid there must be a lot of other stuff they want to hide. Ooh, maybe I will go back to bed after all. Susan Silver was one of the original writers of such TV classics as The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Maud and Bob Newhart. She lectures and teaches sitcom writing and had a column on the New York Social Diary called The Search for Mr. Adequate. She hasn't found him yet. Appearing on TV and radio often, she expresses her views on life and opinions on everything.